This is question two of the 2020 electricity exam level two. Yeah. Right, so we have lightning is typically caused by buildup of electrons in a cloud being released to the earth. The bottom of the cloud is negatively charged. Um, the ground is under, under the cloud becomes positively charged. The cloud and the ground can be modeled using a pair of parallel plates. Um, the voltage difference between the particular cloud and the ground is, what is that, 175 million um, volts. And the electric field strength is, what is that, 85,700 volts per meter. Um, find the height of the cloud above the ground. So in your formula sheet, you should have the electric field. Um, or voltage is equal to the electric field divided by the distance. Um, so, hold on, wait. No, it's not. It's volts per meter. So it's voltage over distance equals electric field. In other words, the distance, D, is equal to the voltage divided by the electric field. Um, and that is going to be equal to, what's the voltage? 1.75 times 10 to the 8. Electric field is 8.57 times 10 to the 4. And then on my calculator, I'll do that 1.75 uh, E. I, will, I hit that EXP button, which goes E to the 8. Um, and then divided by 8.57 E to the 4. It's just so much. If I do E to the 8 and E to the 4, it's a lot easier than. Um, then going times 10 to the power of, and it avoids syntax errors as well. So we got 20,000, uh, 2,042 meters, I suppose, meters, um, which is about 6,000 feet. Yeah, it's reasonable, cloud, cloud base, 6,000 feet. I mean, it's quite a high cloud, probably like a towering cumulonimbus. Um, what a nice sunny day. Right, where the balloon is released from the ground, the balloon has a charge of 3.7 times 10 to the, 3 .7 times 10 to the negative six coulombs. Calculate the size and direction of the electrostatic force acted on the balloon when it is halfway between the cloud and the ground. Right, so you've got um, in your formula sheet, F equals, so this is analogous to like the gravitational, well, not the gravitational, like the gravitational formula. You have the acceleration, which is the electric field, um, times the, or well, the analogy for mass is charge, is EQ. Um, so we have the electric field is, it's linear the whole way through, because I mean, it kind of looks linear to me. Um, we're halfway through it, so the electric field is what? One point, oh wait, uh, 8.57, five, seven times 10 to the four, um, and it's gonna be times 3.7, uh, what have we got? Zero times 10 to the negative six, and that is gonna be equal to, I'll do it sort of to the side. Um, 8.57 e to the 4 times 3.7 e to the negative 6. And what do we got? Point zero point three one seven newtons. So F is equal to 0 0.32 uh, newtons. We we'll just check. Calculate the size, done, and direction. So this is a positive charge. The ground is positive, the top of the cloud is negative, so it's going to be force upwards, upwards, and the force is that. And I'll chuck a wee hat on top, because that's a vector. Um, right, next question, how does the electrostatic force on the electron change as it travels from the cloud to the ground? Use physics principles to explain your answer. So, I mean, looks like a flat bottom of the cloud, looks like a flat ground. The, like the model they've used is flat, flat, so it's not, if it was circle, circle flat, um, then the field strength would increase as it gets closer to the cloud, because the field lines would be closer together. Um, but because the field lines are all gonna be the same distance apart, I mean, I can probably draw them. The field lines are gonna be all uniform except at the edge of the cloud. Um, so all evenly spaced except for here. Where so in this region here, the field will actually be less than in anywhere where the field is uniform. So I'll just pause it and then write it. 
All right, so I've just said, assuming the cloud base and ground is flat, the electric field will be uniform throughout the space. I mean, I tried to be as clarified as clear as I could. This means the force acting on the charge will be uniform as F equals EQ. I mean, F is a vector. Electric field is a vector. Charge is a scalar. Um, as the charge and the E field, electric field are both constant. Sweet. Um, Right, next question. Uh, the electron or an electron is discharged downwards from the base of the cloud at the speed of 1.2 times 10 to the 5, so what's that, like 120,000 meters per second. It reaches a speed of 4.2 meters per second. Calculate the distance it could have traveled from the cloud to have reached this speed. So, what do we got? We have. So we just need to double check. Okay, the ground is positive, so the electron is going to be attracted towards the ground. Um, so we're going to have a conversion of energy. Um, we're going to have an EK, so it's going to gain kinetic energy because it gets to that speed. Um, and that e or change in EK is going to be equal to the electric field potential so EP um, EP and plus so this is where I know this is level 2 so it's going to be I haven't actually looked at the answers yet um, you could add the gravitational potential as well um, but normally that makes the question a whole lot more complicated so I would guess we'll just forget it out and I know the, the gravitational potential energy is nominal in terms of it doesn't actually add that much to the electron's speed whatsoever. So normally you forget about it because of the gain in gravitational potential energy, because it is moving closer to the ground, um, is going to be so minimal that we just forget about it. So in other words, this is going to be equal to um, EQD. Um, and we'll find out the... Okay, so we know what the change in potential energy is. We're going to rearrange for D, so we're going to have change in EK, EK um, divided by EQ equals D, um, and that is going to be equal to half M, and this is when we need to go V1 squared, uh, V2 squared, I should say, V2 squared, minus V1 squared. Because um, that's uh, this is the same. If you expanded this out, it's the final energy minus the initial energy. Um, so that's a change in energy divided by the electric field again times the charge. Um, and then I'll put the numbers in. So it's going to be half. What's the mass of the electron? 1.9 times 10 to the... So 1.9 times 10 to the negative 31. 10 to the negative 31... Um, brackets final speed is 4.2 times 10 to the 5 squared minus 1.2 times 10 to the 5 squared you have to have the squared there occasionally you kids pull the squared out of the equation that screws it up completely um, yeah and then the electric field strength is still the same as 8.57 to the 4 so 8.57 times 10 to the 4 times, and the charge is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 16 for an electron, 19. 19 is 19. Um, right, and I'll just quickly put that in the calculator. Right, and that gives us an answer of, so D is equal to 5.38 times 10 to the negative 6 meters. Um, I did notice that I wrote down the, uh, the mass of the electron wrong, 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31. So when you're obviously doing this exam, you don't rush it like me because you're not trying to make a video. Um, take your time, check all your like, numbers. Um, I left the negative out for the charge um, because it doesn't really add to the question. It's just a scalar distance. Um, it's not asking for the displacement. The displacement would be downwards, which would be a negative distance. Um, so there you go. So there's the work that I chucked on my calculator as well. Notice I used E. Um, it avoids a lot of syntax. It's not E. It's EXP, which is essentially um, the same as writing time. Well, it's the same as writing times 10 to the power of. Um, but it, also, it avoids a lot of syntax errors. Right.